Hello, only me again. Here we are in the bathroom. Not the biggest of rooms, I must say, but it's perfectly functional and does everything you're going to need it to. Toilet. Nice and simple to use this. When the water's on in the vehicle, press that and it will fill your water up in there. So as we can see, if we actually look into the toilet, you'll see a squirt of water coming in. It doesn't come in very fast and we have actually turned the water off on the vehicle now, but you will get the water in. Once you've done what you need to do, there's a lever down at the bottom here, which is hard to see. Turn to the side, empties everything into that grey cassette underneath the vehicle, then close it off. Again, pop a little bit of water in there before you use the toilet. Use the toilet, slide to the side, close again, just pop a bit more water back in. The blue bags, as I mentioned earlier on for when you empty the cassette, the easiest way to use them is to literally just drop it into the toilet, put a good amount of water into the toilet using the button, open the flap so it drops down into the cassette and it just stops everything smelling badly basically when you're using the toilet. There's a light switch just up at the top here underneath the shelf. That there is for the actual bathroom light itself. It's not in a bad place, it could have been probably slightly better place but never mind. Up at the top we have the shower curtain so if you do happen to be having a shower in here just pull that around, it stops water coming out of the door and getting all over the motorhome. Just behind me here we have the dual function tap. So this is actually a bathroom tap and it's a shower. It pulls out like magic. And it just goes into that hook up there and then you can have your shower. It feeds back in quite nicely and then it's a tap for you again. So it's all nice, simple, straightforward in here. Nothing to worry about. 